I'm rolling. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Blue Collar Outdoors. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So today we got a pretty cool load here. This right here. All right, guys. So this is an Apex private label. This is a 12 gauge, three inch shell, two and a quarter ounce payload of eight, nine, and tens blend. We're gonna be shooting this at 40 yards. <clears throat> well, as you see here, the old gal's back and she's ready to rock. But this is the TriStar G2 Viper 12 gauge. I got the Pattern Master Code Black Turkey. This is a 665 constriction. Now it's after you. I think she's back and she's ready to rock, so that's what I'll be shooting. Okay, and like Moose and I did with the tens, three and a halfs, I'm gonna shoot a tighter constriction. Okay, so I'm going to be shooting the Rectifier Diamond Choke Tube. This is the Turkey Tumbler. It's a 653. So we're going to see how this load operates with a tighter constriction. This has 70 thou constriction at a 653. And the Pattern Master with a 665. So we're going to see if it likes a tighter choke or the 665. I have a good feeling it's going to shoot a little better out of the 665. But. Okay, so as I say in every video with the Rectifiers, this is not how they come. This is just a natural finish. They send them this way so we could get them on the channel faster these will come either hydro dipped in the camo of your choice to match your gun or black oxide finish so this is not how they'll look all right so hawk will shoot first with his setup then i'll shoot the tighter constriction out of my franke affinity 3 at 40 yards the old apex 8 9 and 10 shot traveling at 11 90 feet per second out of my tristar g2 viper 12 gauge with a Pattern Master Code Black Turkey, 665. Which target are you gonna shoot at there, lad? The left. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! She's backing up on it. Just can't hide it. On it? Yeah. Did you see the, the dust come off the cardboard? That's tight. A little left, but all right. So here we go. We got Apex Private Label eight nine tens, Franke Affinity three. I got the Rectifier six fifty three in there, forty yards to shoot the right target. Let's see how this load operates in a tight constriction. The old turkey tumbler. He gone. That looks centered. Okay, so we shot both. Time to go scribble and see how they look. Let's get to it. All right, once again, this is out of my TriStar G2 Viper with the Apex 9, 8, 9, and 10 shot. And this is absolutely filthy. I mean, it's, it's left, but if that was on center, that'd be a smoke bird. As it is now, it is a smoke bird, but that is filthy. Look at the core pattern is right here, and that's super tight, like super tight. You don't get much leeway with that. But there's your nine. Man. As you can see here, I don't really have much flyers either. And that's just that's a hot that's a hot load right there. Man. Hot day. That's just filthy. Alright guys, so I shot the tighter constriction with the rectifier 653 out of the Franke Affinity 3 12 gauge. And as you see here, this is another pure showing of the 665 is where it's at. Let's check the pattern out. Okay, so as you can see on the core, this is insane. I mean, you have a ton in the five, ton in the 10. There's 24 pure vital hits. I mean, this is a crazy core right here. I mean, you can't ask for much more. This eight, nine, and tens blend is just filthy. But once you zoom out, with the 653, you can see it choked it down way too much. I mean, you have a ton of flyers. I mean, you have this amazing core, but then the rest of this cardboard is covered in flyers. As you can see with the 665, that, that's just not the case. It was all condensed and it was tight, tight. I mean, you still have a ton in the core as this is a centered shot, but man, it's crazy how many flyers were in that tight constriction. 
And after seeing the 665, I really think it's just you're choking shot down too much, causing stress in that shot string, and it's springing out clearly. But guys, this 8, 9, and 10s ain't no joke. That That's going to, I mean, that, that about take a turkey's head off. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Okay, so on my right, this is Hawk's setup with a 665 Pattern Master Code Black Turkey out of a TriStar G2 Viper. <laughs> and that is insane. As you can see, there's like one flyer. I mean, everything else is right there. That It just ran that load amazing. Then on my side, I had the tighter constriction, the 653 rectifier out of my Franke Affinity 3. And you can see that just choked down the shot way too much. I mean, you have an outstanding core, but your full pattern just sprung wide open with a ton of flyers. But you cannot disregard the fact that there's 24 pure vitals, one hot core, but it just sprung it wide open. So this shows again that choking that shot down with TSS, guys, I, I know there's a lot of people that love those 650s, 653, they love that range. I mean, if you can find a load it runs real good in, it's great, but that 660 to 665 is that sweet spot for TSS. I mean, you can see the difference here in the amount of flyers between a 653 and a 665. I mean, that's night and day difference. You wouldn't guess that this is the same load if you just walked up and looked at the pattern. That's where you want to be. So once again, this was testing the Apex private label. This is a three inch shell, two and a quarter payload of eight, nine, and tens, traveling at 1190 feet per second. Out of the TriStar G2 Viper with the 665 Pattern Master Code Black Turkey, it is night and day difference than the 653 rectifier in the Franke Affinity 3. It just shows again, choking down that shot, getting a tighter constriction choke doesn't always yield tighter patterns. We've actually seen the exact opposite. You have a really good core, but your pattern just blows wide open in the full pattern. That 660 to 665 is right where you want to be, at least in our setups. Drop a comment below if it's different for you. Let me know if you, you run a 650 or the 653 rectifier. Let me know. Let me know what works with it. But guys, looking at these two side and side, I'll take the 665 Pattern Master over a 653 with this load any day. I mean, that is, you better be on them because that's tight at 40. If you haven't yet, make sure to smash the thumbs up button for your boys. We're out here pattern testing. Hawk and I got to get ready for Kentucky after this. Hopefully we can drop some long beards down there with a couple loads, as you'll see in another video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. It's free and it helps the channel out a lot more than you guys realize. So make sure to hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell, turn it on to all. So as you guys know, we've been dropping a video to two videos a day for a while now. We're gonna go back to our regular upload schedule of Monday, Wednesday, Friday, because with season, we're gonna be hunting a lot more and filming a lot less of the pattern test. So hopefully we'll be filling that content with good hunts. But guys, we got a lot coming, so make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you do not miss out on any new videos. We got a couple more videos to film today. This is Jake Sleesman, Hawks hiding behind the camera, Moose is running it, and we'll catch you on the next one.